It's, it's alright insulting us. You don't just no, because no, you no. feel like there's you're, a flaw you're in your argument. Head. You're laughing in my face. There's a flaw so that's not insulting. Because there's a flaw in your no. argument. Someone to eat a cow up and go to them. Is that no. not a good thing? It's a horrible, horrible thing. I think it's spectacular. Hey, avocados. Did them what? <laughs> you just asked me a question, dude. You just asked me a question. <laughs> what are you looking at your said, argument? You know, it's not right. You think you're funny, but you're, you're actually I'm, hilariously yeah. dumb. And that's that is enough from me. What do you think, fella? Mm. Have you seen this? Do you know what it is? I, I know what it is, yeah. What is it? I, I don't know. Know. Get it. They're calves getting slaughtered because they're, they're males. So the dairy industry just don't need them. Can we eat them? They do eat them, yeah. Like, uh, generally, like, they, they it's are... Like, it's oh, like, you know veal. You, you know it's like, called veal. Yeah. Oh, veal's deer. No, it's not getting waste. It's veal. not getting waste. Veal, veal's deer. No, you're thinking of uh, venison. I am um, indeed, you're right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Veal is a byproduct of the dairy industry. The cows get impregnated, they have babies. If they're a boy, they they either get killed straight away, go for veal or beef. That itself is not a nice thing. But do you not think it's a good thing that at, with us, with how many of us there are on this planet, we can feed them all? We can feed people, more people with plants because these animals are and energy... Then, and, you know, then, and then kill how many insects? One second. These animals are energy inefficient. Do you know how many fillets of steak you can get from one cow? Uh, no, nowhere near many, as much do you as. Know how many people you could feed from one cow? Yeah, it's irrelevant. It's over a thousand people. Statistically, you can feed a lot more people with plant foods and use a lot less farmland. True. You, 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 you well, you're use using. You're going to use. For what? Plant you're foods. You're going to use the soil quicker. Why do you think that? Wait yeah. one second. I just want to ask him why you think eating plants directly uses more land than depends. feeding animals and per, eating them. Fair. Like, it depends. Never, never mind per acre, per hectare, you have to use more land to produce the protein needed from your beans than it would be to produce it from one cow. And how have you formulated that belief? It's fact. Based yeah. on what research? Tell me the study right because, now. Because one cow would need one acre. Tell me, no, no, no. So, no, many no, so you're pre-balling it, but point me to the study. I'll look it up right now. There's more pro So beans takes more land than beef, you think? Yes. Based on what evidence? Uh, I'm not, uh, not going into so all Because you sound confident protein. when you're saying it, so I thought you might have a, a study or something. I can show you a study well, that I know shows... I know you're set up here. I know I'm not set up like you are, but that is what I believe, yeah. Why do you believe it? I just want to find out how you form your beliefs. Because I think with how many people we've got on this planet, for us to all eat greens, could it actually be doable? No, you made a... That's, you made a well, that's, the, that's, the, that's the sole question. You made a positive claim. You said beans take up more land than beef. How do you make that... Okay, how... let's scrap that question. But let, let, answer me this. If we was all to eat plant-based and beans products to get our protein from beans and plants, we'd be, we'd... how much countryside would we need? Far less. So, essentially, it's the, the data says... This choice of what, poor research from Oxford... Data, you sound like you think I'm making things up. No, yeah, but you are. You, you're, you're, you're telling me, you're asking me for a source, I'm asking you for a source. It's yeah, so, so like, just blindly reading a news article. It's not, no. From, from no, the no, Guardian, no. who. It's not an article. No, they, they tell the truth. No. The Guardian <laughs> tell the truth. Yes. I mean, you can laugh, but I mean, no, I've been yeah, doing it for, yeah. do, doing yeah, it for yeah. a long time. Yeah. Do you think I get my facts from I'm articles? You. I'm asking you. Well. Published in the Journal of Science. Here's the actual study. Okay. Okay. It's called Reducing Foods Environmental Impacts Through Producers and Consumers. So this article, all it is, is breaking down the study. Okay. Now you can, you, can, you can read this study if you want. Okay. But beans take far more, far less land than beef. Beef was actually the most environmentally Together, inefficient beef. Of protein. More protein for less land. Then we've got the question that... So do you want me to read out this We're eating Okay. Meat, and dairy, okay. meat and dairy provide just 18% of calories, 37% of protein, but it uses the vast majority, 83% of farmland, okay. and produces 60% of agricultural greenhouse gas emissions. Okay. Now, I, if we all adopted a plant-based diet, just yeah. wait one more sentence, yeah, you're okay. we could reduce the Earth's farmland by 75% and still feed the population. Okay. If we, So that shows there's far less farmland being used, yep. and we all get our protein and nutrition requirements. I've given you a time. Have you, have you finished talking? Yeah. Can I make one more point before I leave? Uh, uh, Can okay. I just make one more this... point yeah, okay. to do with this okay. absolutely to do with this cool. i agree with everything you say i'm not, i'm not, i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take it as gospel i believe you the one question i want to ask you is if you went back to your great 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 great, great granddad what was he eating was he eating beans or was he eating meat it's absolutely irrelevant what he was doing Why is it if he was a warlord it wouldn't matter like, that's not how I'm going to dictate my morality in the current society. It's an irrelevant question. But you've got to also understand that people... What if he was eating... What if he was... What if he was eating... 
I'll let you it speak. doesn't matter. I'll let you speak. Let me speak. Yeah. Okay. My great 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 granddad yeah. from Liverpool. That's why I support Liverpool Football Club, right? Okay. So my great great granddad at me. That's why I like eating meat. Do yeah. you see the correlation? Yeah. Things get passed down between generation yeah. to generation. Slavery was passed down as well. It doesn't make it right. True. True. Things get passed down that are immoral. So what I'm just saying right now in civilization now we don't need to do this to these animals, right? You don't need to do it in that way. No, I agree. You don't need to do it in okay. that way. So you still need to kill them. So but use when, you, when you, you buy. Meat. You've set up next to a Burger King. Yeah, exactly. There's a vegan burger in there too. <laughs> Doesn't mean that no, it's not some people are going to eat it though. Yeah. But I'm, started, I'm just asking you two why you support some of the worst abuse and violence on earth when you know because that I you think, can be vegan. Because I think it's horrible to say, but I think us as a population, with how many of us we are on this planet, and we can feed them everything, whatever we want, whenever we want it, that is. I think it's spectacular. And you so, might so that's a, that's a moral argument for abusing absolutely. and killing animals, yeah, so that we can feed everyone. I just told you that we can we, feed the world we, on less land we can, with yeah, a vegan diet. Yeah, with beans that nobody wants to eat. No, we can a, feed everybody about, whatever they want to eat, whenever they want to eat. If I want to eat... about 20,000 edible plants. If I want to eat a cow, I can go to there. If I want to go eat... If I want to eat a burger, I can go to there. If I want to eat a burger, I can go to there. Is that not a good thing? We can have whatever we want, whenever we want to. Animals being decapitated and abused for it, it's a horrible, horrible thing. And to say it's a good thing, just uh, it might either you don't give a shit about animals, or you support animal cruelty, or you, you care more about your taste buds than an animal's yeah. life. Uh, no, 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 I get it. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, is that? My last point is right. If I was to go back, say I don't live. We're not doing in, time machines, are we? If I don't live in a city. Are we doing no, no, time machines? No, no, no. If I don't live in a city, if I live in the countryside, you don't. And my. You do. If I live in the countryside, which doesn't I could, matter, I could go and live in Canada. Doesn't matter where you live. My only source of protein, my only source of protein from living in the wildlife is to eat an animal. Do you live in the wild? Yeah. Really relevant then? Yes. Do you, don't, do you live in the wild? Yes. So, okay. So where would you get backpack from? Do you make it out of a tree? Yes. No. <laughs> so, you obviously don't live in the wild. Why are you sitting here making excuses for this horrible, horrible cruelty to animals and suffering? Because it makes you seem like not such a good person. Because you're just sitting there making excuses for it. But why don't you talk to the people in China that are eating dogs? No, I don't. Is, want... that, is that worse is it... or is that better? It's exactly the same. It depends ethically. where the morality lies. So do you think it's worse? Yes. Why? Because we have them as household pets. For us, it's normality. And, I, and I've got a, a pig as a household pet. Why do you eat pigs? Because I like bacon. <laughs> exactly. You know, I like dog bacon. Okay. Is that a good enough That's reason your, to... Yes, your prerogative. Is it okay? The dude, no, if you were to eat my dog, then no, it's not okay. If it's your dog, so if you, they're your do what, property, you do what you want to do so, with your so dog. So if they're your property, that's the only thing that animals matter, if they're your so. property. I'd say so. Where have we heard this mentality before? Like, these living beings are property, they only matter as much as they're my property. Other than that, I don't care about them. Have you heard this mentality before? Think of history. You like doing time machines? <laughs> <laughs> time machine ones. I think of history. When we look at living beings, so, it's so far below us that the only reason they matter is because they're our property and what they can provide for us. Us. That's not what I said. Though, did, so yeah, so if they're your property, that's the only thing that animals matter. If okay, they're your so, property. I'd say so. You do think that because you think your taste matters more than these animals' experience. You already said that. If I want to get chicken, I want to get beef. That's a great thing. Well, they're being abused and murdered. So do for you that. eat avocados? So what's that got to do with anything? Because how do you know that a plant do, doesn't do, feed? Do you know, no, 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 I want to know. No, no. Would that make that okay? Do you know? I'm, okay. okay. I'm not saying it is. Okay. This so, is all too, so, totally okay. I'll tell you if I eat. I'll let you speak. No, no, no. One second. I'll let you eat. I'll let you talk. We'll talk about avocados. Just made a point. Do you agree this is bad? Just made a point. Let me roll it back. You asked a question to my question. Is this bad? Then we can talk about if avocados are bad. If I was to weigh up every option, yes, it's bad, but I would still keep doing it. Okay. So That's you, my honest so opinion. You, would, but you, let me, would you call yourself let, an animal let me, abuser? Let me elaborate on my question, okay. right? Do you eat avocados? Every now and then, yeah. How many, no, no, how many they're insects, pretty fatty, so I don't. How many insects are killed with herbicides to make you eat your avocados? It's not herbicide. The insects. Pesticide. Do the animals be more than the insects? That's my question. No, no one second. Let me, okay. If I'm going to... Are you just asked me a question, dude? You just asked me a question, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to answer the question now, and it's going to take about a minute to answer the question. Is that okay? Definitely. Okay, cool. Essentially, we have 100% justification to put pesticide on our food sources mm -hmm. if we do not... Insects who cannot be reasoned with will mow through the entire population's food okay. and we will die and starve. Okay. They can't be reasoned with. Okay. I can't ask. It's just like if you come into my house and hurt my children, I'll shoot you in the face. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't make murder justified. Absolutely. Now, these insects, they can't be reasoned with. They're, they're mowing through our crops. We have a full on justification there. How does that. Absolutely. Now, what about this? Are we justified in doing this? Yeah. Have you so, a cow. I've got a question. question. I don't want to forget. You want to follow on with the avocado question? That's okay. Just Let's, say. Let's, Let's go on with avocado. You can't reason with insects, so you can 
competing with a pig? I can protect my, my property from a pig much easier than a bunch of little tiny flying... Um, so because there there's no line. way of... There's there's no, a line. So there is, no, a, there, there's no, a line. Yeah. There is a line. So we can't no, reason no. with the pigs. We can't reason with the cows. But if it's small reason, enough... But if it's a tiny little it. thing that can fly into my house... There's no way of reason with it. Listen, that's not what I said. You're straw me. small enough... You're straw me. That's what you're saying. small enough, we can kill it. You can't stop them, that's what I mean. So what's the difference between a fly and a pig? There's no way of protecting our crops from insects other than pesticide. But you're reasoning... There's no viable solution to that. You're happy to murder the insects, but you're not happy to murder the animals. It's not murder. It's self-defence. Self-defense, and that's that is enough from me. Self-defense. Oh wait a second! If you come into my house, you need to relook at your second. argument. You know, it's not right. You think you're funny, but you're, you're actually I'm, hilariously no. dumb. Do you know Listen what? to this. It's Listen all insulting us. You don't just no, because no, you no. feel like there's you're, a flaw in your argument. Face. You're laughing in my face. There's a flaw so that's not insulting. Because there's a flaw in your no. argument. Self-defense is not murder. No, is it? Go go to court for self-defense. Tell me if you get charged with murder. Okay, guys. No, 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 no. It's self-defense murder. Okay. Is it murder? So what if I? One second. Is self-defense Defense murder, that's a question. If you no, 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 it isn't. Okay. No, it isn't. So then you're the laughing stock. Okay. Now. <laughs> right. right. My, my last question. My Who's last the laughing stock now? My last question to you, because I know you can get in annoyed. If I lived, you are. If I lived in America and a hog was coming at me. You're justifying animal if abuse. A, if a hog or a ram or anything was then coming at me self time defense. and I killed it so I could in, eat it, your argument's I mean, done. I'm going to go. Bye bye. That's not what you do with these chickens, though, is it? They, they're innocent and you abuse them and kill them. I'll kill a fly. That's not self defense. I'll eat the flies. Is it? That's abuse. I'll eat the flies and the cockroaches. So anyway, if you, if you've got to defend yourself, like, and you have to kill an animal and to defend yourself, I don't think a sheep is gonna or pig's gonna really threaten your life to the point that you have to kill them. The difference between self-defense and murder is that one's justified and one's not justified. So we have a justification to protect our, our plants, your your property, your home, your family, but we don't have a justification to do this to innocent animals, enslave them, abuse them, murder them, decapitate them. So that guy there can eat their bodies and laugh about it. So this person's true colors came out. They have no heart. They're looking right now at the same stuff those girls I was speaking to were looking at before. Callous, no empathy, no compassion. I hope one day when he really needs compassion the most, someone snarls and laughs at his suffering so he knows exactly how these animals feel.